Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, what we'll do is we will learn how to model staircases. So let's go ahead and open our existing example project that we have been working on. So let's go ahead and first check our levels. So let's go to the sectional view. So before we draw a staircase, we have to make sure that what is the height that we'll be climbing using that staircase. So the first floor is at one foot six inches, as you can see here. It's being highlighted. The second floor is at 13 feet 6 inches. So that means that we have to climb 12 feet. Let's go to our first floor plan. Now we do not see the profile of the staircase here because in our CAD drawing we had switched off certain layers. So let's go back to our visibility and graphics under properties. Click on edit go to imported categories and let's expand this individual project as you can see we just have walls and doors and windows those two layers activated so let's go ahead and activate dimension elevation flow click apply okay this is the staircase that we see in plan view this will be climbing up like this turning and then going up in the second flight to the second floor. There are in total of 20 risers. You can count them. It's 6 foot 8 inches. That means 72 and 8. These are 80 inches. Each trade is 10 inches as you can see here. So before we start modeling this staircase, we have to make sure that we know the levels, we know the height that we'll be climbing and we calculate what would be the height of the riser. So there are 20 risers that means we will need 7.2 inches of the riser height because we have to climb 12 feet which is 144 inches divided by 20 risers and that gives us 7.2 inches of riser. So once you have calculated that let's go ahead and click on stair. There are two ways you can draw a stair. So let's first draw using by sketch. So click on that. But before you do that, you have to edit its type. Why? Because it's right now, it's 7 inch maximum riser and 11 inch tray. What do we need is a 10 inch tray and 7.2 inches maximum riser. So click on edit type. So you can see here all these parameters that you can change. Duplicate it. And let's make it 7.2. 2 inches maximum riser and 10 inches straight. 10 inches straight, click OK. Let's change the depth of the tray to, from 11 to 10 inches and maximum riser height from 7 to 7.2 inches. Once you're done, click OK. Now you can see that it's 7.2 inches riser and 10 inches straight. Now before you start drawing this, you have to make sure that we know what is the, the width of the flight. So width of the flight over here is 3 feet 4 inches as you can see here. You can see right here that's 3 feet 4 inches. Right now the width under properties is 3 feet. So let's go ahead and change it to 3 feet 4 inches. The way you draw its run is you start, you sketch a start point and end point. So let's say if this is the starting point. When it says midpoint, click here, go here and then it says midpoint, that's your end point. So what it does, it creates 3 feet 4 inches wide flight from this start point to this end point. Now we have a landing here, so now we have to start again from here. So go to this start point and if you want you can go to midpoint from midpoint here and that's the end so that's another those two risers so we can stop here and now we have another landing now we have to start from here from the midpoint Escape. 
from here now you can go straight up like this so as you can see here that we have created this profile of staircase now if you, if you are happy with this profile you can always finish this sketch and what it does it creates a staircase as you can see here so this is how we draw stairs by sketch let's go ahead and undo it and we will see how to draw staircase using the other method okay so let's go to first floor view so in the earlier example as you must have noticed that it was creating an additional step and the reason was it's probably because of the rounding so this time when we draw a stair using the stair by component we will we'll round it up a little bit so that we get the exact number of traits as per our 2D CAD drawing. Before we start drawing, it's always a good practice to draw some reference lines. So we can draw some model lines. So let's draw model lines so that we know there's a midpoint from here to here. It's because sometimes that midpoint may not be caught um, in the snap. So let's draw those references. See, sometimes it does not catch that midpoint from here to here. So we, we have these references set up by using model lines. Now what we can do is we can go to stair, click on stair by component, change its type, duplicate it. Let's make it 7.2 inches riser and 10 inches straight, click OK. When you change it to 7.2, I want it to change it to 7.20, a little bit more than that. So maybe 202, something like that. And then change this to 10 inches, change the height or the flight width to 3 feet 4 inches, click OK. So once we have set up, the next thing we have to decide is, is there any offset that you want, okay? Your run width, you can still change if you change your mind. What is important for you to notice is that the location line is set up to run center. What does that mean that when you start drawing, this reference line will be in the center of the flight, as you can see here. If I escape, if I go back and change this, okay, I have to use my control. Then if I go to run right, okay, what does mean that if I start drawing here, so this reference line is on the right side of the flight. Okay, so I can choose to do that. If I choose, let me escape, if I choose run left, then the same thing, you can, you can click here and now you can see my reference line is on the left side of my flight. If I had to draw this flight, I can choose like I started from here, I can stop here and my next flight can start from here, I can go here. Let's keep the location line to center and let's draw it from here to here and then from here to here from here and as you can see because we have rounded the riser dimension a little bit we no more need additional steps so it fits perfectly as you can see here there are 20 risers in total and the staircase is as per the cat file. Click OK. You can see it in 3D view. Let's go back to first floor plan. And as you can see that because we assume that the width is 3 feet 4 inches, it kind of going inside this wall. If you look at this staircase, if you look at here, this is the corner of the staircase. That means it's going inside the wall. So if, if anything like this happens, you can still move the staircase. How do we move? We have to click on the staircase, make sure it's selected, 
click on move command and what you want you want to move it from here to the corner of this wall if the lines are confusing you go ahead and hide this 2d drawing so we don't have to get confused so this is the basic wall that's the staircase click here and let's bring it from here to here all right so now it's outside the wall you can check it here okay if at all if you want for instance if i go to first floor i know that it has a handrail on this side but because this side i have a wall I may not need this handrail. In that case, if you want to delete the handrail, you can do that. So you can click on the handrail when it highlights. So you hover your mouse and when it highlights the handrail, click on it. Okay. Once the handrail is selected, click on edit path. And what basically this shows is the path of the handrail, the way it is going over the staircase. So for instance, if I don't want my handrail here, I can go ahead and delete these path lines. So I delete on this, delete on this, delete on this, and delete on this. Because I have wall on these sides, I do not want my railing to run on this side. Plus, I also want this path to extend. So if I click on that path line, reference line, I see this drag handle. And drag it to the wall so that my railing is not is, is basically attaching to the wall once that is done click ok and as you can see in 3d view that that railing is gone there is no railing on that side so you can modify handrail once you have modeled the staircase so this is how we model the staircase. Thanks for watching.